going on guys your boy koopa j bring you another video today another useful helpful video uh, i wanted to talk about how to set up the tekken 7 uh, jukebox mod for pc right kind of self-explanatory is nothing really crazy but i know some people may have some problems with it if you're looking for a video on the internet then this is the video for you so uh, i'm gonna get right into it i'm not gonna talk you guys' head off i'm just gonna get straight to the point uh what you guys need and how to set it up so there we go right so you're going to open up your web browser and obviously go to the page with the uh, the jukebox tool mod. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for that. And uh, this is just showing you the, you know, the jukebox tool. On the left hand side, you know, you got your maps. And on the right hand side, you got your music uh, that you'll use for the maps. So they have Tekken 1 through Tag Tournament 2. There's a way to put custom sounds and all that like on these maps, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you guys like the basics right now. Just how to get it set up. All right. So... Uh, below this is your download. So this is for the actual jukebox tool right here, this download. And then this right here is for the music packs. These are the music packs on the right hand side that you'll need for, you know, when you're trying to set this up. So you'll just download both of these. I already have them downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick, skip this step. And then uh, once you get them, you'll have these files, these two files right here. You have a VGM and then this T7 jukebox 14. You wanna take this T7 jukebox 14 and extract it into a folder. So just create a folder, uh, name it Tekken jukebox, whatever your heart desires again. And just take this and extract it in that folder right and once you have that right you should get all this once you extract that you should be able to open that folder and then you'll have all this once you extract it um the issue i was kind of running into uh was with this u4 pack right here right you may run into this issue but you may not run into this issue uh what my computer was doing i guess it was picking this up as a threat and it would delete it every time i would try to go generate a pack and uh what i mean by generating a pack right so once you uh, have all this and you open this up uh, once you start getting all this stuff situated and you generate the pack uh, if you try to click this and you get an error message it's probably because this u4 pack uh, like I said your computer just picks it up as a threat and it automatically deletes it so like if that's the issue you're running into then try to just you know disable your security uh, or allow it allow access you know for this and you should be good to go but uh, other than that yeah uh, you'll just take that BGM file as well that you downloaded and you'll go ahead and uh, extract that as well in this BGM folder, you know, so BGM and BGM, just remember that, right? And then this is where all your music will be, again, Tekken 1 through uh, Tag Tournament 2. So when we get to the mod here, right, and we open it up, basically what you're doing uh, is just taking each uh, music, you know, you're just taking each stage and you're like trying to pick music that you want for it. You know, so there's, you know, again, it's like just the, the mod on, P on PS4. Right, so you have one and two. So you know, two is like usually you know your final round, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, you can just set that however you want. So if I wanted to come to Misha Dojo and I wanted to set, uh, let's just say for example, we'll just do the Kazuya theme, right? It's already set up Kazuya theme PSX. So I have those for one and two. So that's what I'll do, and then I'll just go down the line and I'll do that for each stage here. Uh, as far as the music that I want to select uh, if you don't know all the Tekken music or like all the stages what you can do is just go to Google type in you know Tekken 7 uh, stages and it's kind of like a Wikipedia it's like a visual so it'll give you like the stages if you kind of forget what's what and uh, for the, the music as well you can just go to YouTube and uh, just type in like Tekken 1 playlist and then like they kind of like have like minute previews for like each song so you can kind of just go through and listen and you know your ear uh, usually catches like the first 10 seconds of anything you like so like if you like you know hearing it within the first few seconds then just go ahead and throw it on there all right so once you get all that set situated right you'll generate a pack right so once you generate this pack i'll just do it here uh you'll generate a pack here and you'll get this message this will hurry up do it i don't know why it's taking so long yeah so jukebox pack has been successfully generated you'll get this uh message it'll go ahead and generate and it's going to generate in the same folder as you extracted this t7 jukebox 14 into so it'll be right here right so you can take it right throw it out on the desktop do whatever your heart desires you can leave it in there just as long as you know where it's at so then from there right you're going to open up your steam and then from steam you're going to go into your library right and you're going to find tekken 7 in your library so once you find tekken 7 off in your library here you're going to go ahead and go into your properties and then your local files right so then your browse browse your local files and then you're gonna find this and you'll have all this just go into the Tekken game after this you'll go Tekken game right and you'll go into content and then you'll go into packs right after that and then you'll have these five pack chunks here right It'll, you'll have these five but this folder won't be here you have to create this folder and name it exactly how I named it uh, right here you just put the you know the dash and then the mods 
and then uh, it's the squiggly line, not just the dash, it's the, you know, the squiggly one. And then you'll put mods here, and then you'll go ahead and open that up, and then just drop that jukebox pack right into it. And then after that, you should be good to go. You should be able to launch your game. And for whatever stage you have or whatever, you know, it, it should work for you guys. Uh, again, I'll have the links in the descriptions below uh, for the stages and, you know, the, where the download link is and everything like that. And I hope this video helped you guys kind of break it down. And if you're having any problems with it, then, you know, this, this helped you. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and catch you guys. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.